What are you looking for in a man? <laughs> Am I looking? <laughs> Hey guys, this is gonna be a get ready with me slash get to know me, all that, all that, all that, all that, all that good stuff while I like do my makeup and stuff. Um, I hope you guys can hear me. And if you see a tree in the back, that's my Christmas tree. Um, I didn't take it out one yet, and it's about to be February. What about it? Rough draft. I bought myself. And I had posted like on Instagram about asking me questions and stuff. And some of you guys did respond. Shout out to you guys for always supporting me. Oh yeah, this is um, Bobby Brown um, Vitamin Enriched Face Base. So I'm gonna just put this on her. I already did my skin routine, my face routine, and stuff like that. Like you put it on my moisturizer and all of that there. And now I'm just like putting on primer. But anyways, I'm gonna list all the products that I use. If you guys want to know, if you don't, I don't know. but um, so my full name is Rochelle. Shanna Millions came about, you know, like a stage name, whatever. And um, I was born and raised in Barbados, and I moved to America. And if I'm looking down, looking down at my mirror. Um, I moved to America when I was about 14, so I want to say that was in like 2012, if my math is correct. <sighs> 13, 14, and I moved here because my mom uh, moved here first, you know, the whole thing, you know, she wanted a better life, da 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 da. And then eventually I moved here and she said, yeah, I'm a send for you, girl. And when she, I thought she meant like tomorrow. <laughs> she meant like <laughs> 10 years after. <laughs> but, you know, she did a really good thing. I aspire to be like her when I grow up. Like moving from one country to the next to start a whole new life where you don't know anybody. You rock, girl. Um... Growing up in Barbados was kind of fun, not kind of, it was really, really fun. And um, moving to America was a big, big transition because everything is super different. And things that I was accustomed to doing back home was not done here. Like, even little things like um, when I moved here, growing up in Barbados, he was raised on manners and the area that you live in was always so small that everybody knew each other. So I used to like, when I used to like go in school or even like going in a different area in Barbados and you seeing other people on the, on the street, you were taught to speak and say good morning, good night, stuff like that. Here, I did that and people was looking at me like it was crazy. So I was like, oh, okay, so I got me a bitch. Okay, that was just to give you guys a little, um, rough draft about me before I was to answer the questions and stuff like that. How did it feel to leave Barbados and how old were you? Like, yeah, so I was, like I just said, like 13, 14. And I was upset because my dad and my family and my friends were all over there, still are over there. And, um, what is your favorite dish? Your favorite Barbadian dish? Uh, my favorite Barbadian dish gotta be sauce. Or it gotta be um, cuckoo and flame fish. So I'll explain it too. Cuckoo is like something mixed with cornmeal, like a big batter that you gotta beat with a stick and it's mixed with pork slush. So, like, to make the consistency a little bit more soft, I guess. Look at my arrows. They're um, fraternal twins, they're not identical. But, um, sauce is basically like pig, pig, tongue, ear, snow, all of that type of stuff mixed up, pickled, and yeah, I'm a pork mouth. I like pork. 
but pork is not healthy, don't eat pork. What made me want to be a model? So growing up in Barbados, my mom used to travel back and forth from America before she had got here for good. And she used to like bring back like, um, tapes, like the tapes, the VH, the VH, I forgot we called them, the tapes. And I used to watch like Naomi Campbell or Tara Dines and all of them walking for Victoria's Secret. And I always was like, I would want to be a Victoria's Secret Angel. I would want to be a Victoria's Secret Angel. And I just started getting into the whole modeling thing, makeup, beauty, fashion, all that good stuff. And like a little bit of like, I'm going to be an actor. You guys didn't know that I'm going to be an actor. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts on mental health? I um, take mental health very, very seriously. Having a good state of mind, that people should have more access to like therapists and all that. Instead of having to pay so much money just to for like something that should that is so common. I like listening and giving my input on people's problems and stuff like that. So if you're a person and you go through a lot and you want to talk to somebody or you need some, you know. A push video. You could talk to me. Honestly, I came to the point whereby I don't want to even want to say stuff like this out in public. But I want. I'm, I'm not gonna be very precise, but I want happiness and I want peace, and I actually want to like grow into the woman grow into the woman that I need to be, that God want me to be, that I'm intended to be. That is like one of my biggest goals for myself, honestly. You gotta pull it down. So you won't look like a ghost. All on your neck, bruh. Where is your favorite place to go on vacation? <laughs> Barbados. <laughs> where I from is where y'all vacation at. Just kidding. Um, My favorite place to go to vacation? The only other place I went to outside of America, well, outside of Barbados, is America. And for my birthday, I want to go somewhere else. Probably like Mexico or like, I really, really, really want to go to Bali, but I have something else in the works other than Bali, but um, right now, I will have to say Barbados. The really water is clear and the sun is bright, honestly. I do not like onions. I hate onions. I hate onions. And that's very childish of me, but I don't care. What is one thing you would never eat? Onions. If you know me, you know I hate onions. I hate onions because I hate it. And I hate mushrooms. Hate, hate, hate. I'm open to try anything else in the world but onions. Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, in five years, I see myself as I like at my highest, at my highest self, and doing everything that I want to do right now. Doing in five years, and that will happen. That will happen because God said so. Are you single? Is my next question. Um. Yeah, I am. Target or Walmart? Target, uh, I'm a Target girl. I love Target. Like, if even if I don't need anything from Target, going into Target made me realize that I needed to be there because there's something that I need from Target. I love Target. What are you looking for in a man? Am I looking? <laughs> That's the question. Am I looking? If you're being completely honest, somebody that's kind. And when I mean kind, I don't mean like surface level definition of kind. Or like the kind that you know when you're growing up. Like, oh, kind means to share or say nice things. That, but apply that on your everyday adult life. Like kind, like somebody that's kind to your mind and my emotions and kind, like, kind to me as a person like kind somebody that provide of course but i mean if you provide i don't mean like them doing everything and i just you know on my ass i mean 
kind as in I mean providing as in like knowing that he's a man enough for me to be submissive but I have my own but I've never run into that yet I'm always going to lead in the way and somebody that could teach me things somebody that um Everybody comes with some type of baggage, but if you don't got if you if your baggage is something that you haven't dealt with, mm -mm, don't deal with it with me. Cause I got someone I deal with it too. Mm -mm. But that's a whole different topic. That's a whole different topic. Y'all may not even like my response to that anyway, but I don't care. What is your skincare routine? My skincare routine is I use um my um i like my eyes very very light you can tell if you, if you don't already know this my cleansing my um skincare routine in the morning and night are two different things but for the morning time i use um um ankylis oil cleansing balm i love 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 their products really new cleansing mom um then i use um the um la roche posay salicylic acid for to prevent and to help breakouts and after that i go on with my moisturizer from ankylis and then i use a sunscreen and a spot treat as well um, in the nighttime I use my cleansing balm again and then I use my Cetaphil regular for my wash cleanser and then after that I use my CeraVe nighttime moisturizer and then I use the nice spot treat because the girls should have black skin all 2023 okay. pause my favorite 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 if you have any other um recommendations that you think is good let me know but my favorite favorite concealer right now is born this way and my favorite um foundation is born this way as well but i just use this nars and i love it sorry bear with me questions i hope you guys are getting to know me with these questions i wanted to sit and talk about myself but i just didn't know what to say so the question is kind of guiding me into giving like you know direct answers of what i really am so you guys can get to know me and again if i do do this again you can ask me more questions more detailed things and experiences that you like me to talk about or things you want to know what is my biggest fear my biggest fear is getting buried alive yep that's my biggest fear. Getting buried alive. I don't know, when you guys were younger, when I was younger, I used to watch Days in Our Days of Our Lives with my grandmother. And there was this episode, this lady getting buried alive, and after that, mm -mm. I was like, no ma'am. Next, I am going to contour. Contour. Never did me wrong, so I never like straight away. I found it, I like it, and I'm sticking to it. This is my contour and I'm sticking to it. Mm. Question, do you like to cook? I do not like to cook. If I could order out food forever, I would. I hate cooking. Thank God for Tiana because she cook. She don't have a choice. She has a son. So she has to feed him. So she feed him, she feed me. If you could go back in time, what age event would you go back to and why? It's funny because me, and one of my friends were just talking about this. If I was in high school, I mean, if I was, if I could have gone back in time, I would have went back to like anywhere from 17 going back. And it's not because of adulting. It's just like, I was just so much more of a like, if I knew what I knew now, I would have not taken that for granted. I really, really, like Laura Mercier is great. Don't get me wrong, and I just put the excess on my hand, and I use these these little sponges. I got them from Amazon, and they smell so good, so good. I don't 
not too much. And I just rake up the excess from my hand because we don't waste, we don't waste here. And then I just pack and then. And I like these because it get all in corner. Starting my YouTube and stuff. This is just a way for me to like put myself out there in a way. I feel like modeling is such a hard YouTube too, but I wanted to do something else to make me feel like I am like actually not being stagnant. I feel with modeling like don't get me wrong, I did my do when it comes to modeling. Love modeling. I'm a model girl. But like I like beauty and I like sitting on watching girls talk about makeup and all that girly stuff so like i was like well i want to do that too and you know i like stuff like this it looks so pretty like it looks so look at it it looks so pretty can you see it looks so pretty wait wait, wait. hey it's a pretty pink and i really really like it i think we should get it when you got to america was it hard for you at first so when i first got to america for good um and i was going to high school i was so nervous oh my god if i could meet that girl and give her a hug i would i was so nervous only because everybody when you come from a different country into somebody else's country they think that oh you talk so different but also to me they talk so different and things that i would say they worded differently they even spell differently i remember one time i was in like class and like this girl i could never forget this day i said tuesday right and let me contour first i said tuesday no i said tuesday because we said tuesday in barbara like that caribbean people that's just always pronounce words that doesn't make us any less of human or any that don't mean that we don't know anything that just simply means this is how we talk everybody have a way that they're talking their country or whatever and she was like pointing it out and laughing and made me feel very uncomfortable and i guess the teachers thought i was uncomfortable and she was like don't say that like that is how i just talk and she she was she was embarrassed i felt bad for her but it's like why would you laugh at me and i was new and everything and like I remember this one girl, she was laughing at me that I used to dress. I was in my bag, I was not using my locker because I didn't know how to use a locker. Because growing up in the Caribbean, lockers and all that, and because everything, first of all, most classes didn't even have doors. We didn't have air conditioning. You just had a desk and like a broken table, a broken chair that had like a million, made out of wood and metal. That middle, that, that. I didn't want to go to school and I didn't have any friends. So I was like, you know, everybody already clicked up because they was in middle school together. So everybody was like already like clicked up. And it was just me. So I was like, oh. How long have you been in a relationship? My longest relationship, I want to say, was probably like when I was young and dumb. And that was probably like two years not really a lash girl i like this and like lashes it just bothered me a lot so i've been using this serum to grow my lashes out i forgot what it's called i got it from sephora i'll link it down below i'm gonna try out my price by riri by rihanna guru where is it and i'm gonna put it in between my lips Mm, it smells so good. And then I may add some juju space in between just to see how it looks. Alright guys, thank you for watching this and um, thanks for getting ready with me, thanks for watching me do my makeup. So for um, perfume smell, between Givenchy, Irresist Blah. Givenchy Irresistible or Versace um, Bright Crystal, um, both perfumes I got from my mom on Christmas. So.
My mom always gave me perfumes on Christmas and I love that because she know I'm trying to like build a perfume collection like her. Versace for my hair. And I'm going to put on my earrings off camera and my lashes off camera. If I do decide to do lashes, but I don't think I need lashes. Y'all think I need lashes? But um that's it thanks for getting ready